Here we are in the secret garden of survival and um, I do have a lot of tomato plants and not all of them are planted next to catnip. Remember I told you that uh, if you plant tomatoes next to catnip, tomato hornworms won't go near it and devastate your plants. Well, I was just out in the garden this morning. This uh, tomato yesterday looked perfect, but uh, you can see that leaves and stems are chewed completely off. That is a telltale sign. There are parts of tomatoes that were chewed. Um, and, uh, you know, this thing, I just found a tomato hornworm right there. And uh, actually, it's got another one right there. And they are extremely camouflaged, but you can see, I'm going to show you that um, this plant, this thing ate this tomato right off. I mean, it just ate this green tomato completely. So that is a tomato hornworm. You can see the little little horn right there on his butt. And uh, that's his little head right there and his face. And um, I'm either going to snip him in half with a pair of scissors or I'm going to throw him to my ducks to eat. And they tend to like these things and uh, it does my heart good to see the ducks eating them when these guys are um, so ravenous. But uh, you know, here again, here's a tomato that is not planted next to catnip. And uh, in one evening, it's devastated these leaves and eaten some of the, uh, the green tomatoes off of here. So um, let that be a lesson to me and to everybody else out there. Um, we need to protect these tomatoes from green tomato hornworms and an easy way to do it is to plant them next to catnip.